TB Joshua sends gift donations to the USA, and during the cold winter season, the Emanuel TV team visit the Lord's Ranch in Newport, Washington, USA, a homeless ranch for homeless people. They donate warm clothing, food, tires, and many other gift items in their mission to make a tangible difference in a troubled world. Hello, we are here at Newport, Washington, at the Lord's Ranch, representing Emmanuel TV and Prophet TB Joshua along with our team and Brother Adrian, who is the leader of this team. We're also joined with a KXLY news station, local spoken news station, who will record uh, this story and the generous gift that the man of God has given to this incredible, awesome ministry. As you know, Emmanuel TV is about changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. What you're about to see is exactly what they do. Changing lives so that our nation can be changed and so that our world can be a better place. As the man of God, Prophet Tibi Joshua says, I'm a solution to your problem, so as you are to mine. God has made it this way, so no man can boast. Give your smile and your love. Give your strength and your time and money to those who need it. And man of God, Prophet Tibi Joshua did exactly that. He's becoming a solution and he's becoming a blessing to this Lord's Ranch by giving these wonderful gifts that you're about to see in a minute. But right now, let's meet the man who is responsible or who is the servant of this uh, mission, ministry called the Lord's Ranch. His name is Adrian. I will let him introduce himself. Hello, my name is Adrian Simula and uh, I'm the director here at the Lord's Ranch. And I just wanted to thank TV Joshua and Emmanuel Television for their great gift and generosity here. We started this Christian ranch about 10 years ago uh, for discipling men off the streets, homeless people, drug addicts, alcoholics, uh, any particular problems that they might have, they can come in and then raise them up in, in the Word of God. We watch TV Joshua video clips here at the ranch. We look at the miracles and uh, the great things that's happening through Prophet TB Joshua and uh, uh, um, Emmanuel TV. And now it's come home to us. And we are so honored and blessed by God, favored by God. He's given us so many uh, good gifts this year. Would you, if you would be kind enough to just kind of guide us and explain uh, these things, how will they bring a blessing to the men here? The Lord's Ranch is in the northern part of Washington, and we're, we get a lot of snow here, sometimes um, up to 10 feet, if you can imagine that. <laughs> because, but, but as a result, many of the men that have been homeless, they come to us, they don't have proper clothing, um, they don't have uh, sh proper shoes, um, and so this has been a great blessing that TV Joshua, we've been able to uh, buy Yet you've been able to give us boots and warm s sweatshirts here. We have, uh, it says Carthart. The Carthart's the name of uh, uh, warm clothing. We have uh, about 30 pairs of jeans here. And uh, on, on this, and on this, this, this uh, couch here, we have coats, jackets, warm winter jackets. And if you, if you see, there's snow outside, so we, we need this. We have here at this table, a table full of food. It's been provided by uh, TB Joshua. We have uh, uh, meat and uh, rice and oats. We have 50 pound bags of, of oats and wheat and 50 pound bags of rice, uh, toilet paper, laundry soap, um, coffee. All the essentials that it takes to help run a ranch like this. And I just want to thank you for providing um, all this food to sustain the ministry here. It's been a great blessing. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Prophet TV Joshua and Emmanuel TV partners, these are the men, including others who are not here with us because they went on a different mission right now. And for these men, uh, you've improved their lives and you made their lives better this coming year. Not just during this Christmas, but this coming year. And they have something to tell you. Thank, Thank you, you, Prophet you. TV Joshua. Thank you. Thank you. 
my name is Josh Douglas. I'm 18 years old. Um, thank you so much for all this, uh, keeping us warm and getting out, out there and doing work for, for the Lord. And thank you so much. God bless you. Hello, I'm Frank Smith. And uh, thank you for all this stuff. It's cold out there, and I'll appreciate it. And thank you, Mr. Um, TB Joshua. Yes, sir. I love you, and amen, and God bless you. Hi, I'm Jim Redding. Um, I'm very, very grateful for being able to come to the ranch and, and get into the spirit of work again. I've been out of work basically uh, full-time for about seven years, ever since the big crash. And the clothes are going to be very warm um, for us to keep us dry, and um, we're very blessed with all this. We really thank you, D.B. Um, Joshua. Hi, my name is Torrance Pittman. I want to thank the motherland. I never thought I'd get this close to the motherland, but she reached out to me, and I'm so wonderful, as well as uh, Pastor Adrian and his wife, Janice. Uh, it's a very, uh, all the things that I receive will help me in my day-to-day -day activities along the ranch. We do have snow. It's quite cold. But thank you, TB Joshua, for everything that you contributed to us. Amen. Hi, my name is Bill, and uh, I just want to talk a little bit about this facility and this program. The thing about these donations and the, the facility here is it helps the down and out, the less fortunate in the streets. This is a facility that the average church cannot deal with, and these things that are, we are provided for through the grace of God, they will be distributed to uh, get the people out of the cliques and the um, influences of life and give them a time and a season to reflect on the things of God. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Robert Monroe, and I'm 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 very thank you, thankful. Thank you, T. B. Joshua, brother. Thank you, T. B. Joshua. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, all the blessings of this food is great for uh, the kitchen. Um, we work totally on donations and what the what the Lord provides through other people, and it's a real blessing. And these folks here, all of us walking through the door, we need that help. And so I'd just like to thank you for the blessings you gave us, and thanks for you folks coming out. And uh, again, amen. Thank you. One of the needs that they had is new tires for the van. And with the gifts that Prophet T.B. Joshua gave us, we were able to purchase brand new two tires worth of 500 U.S. dollars for this van. So they will be able to go all around the United States and take men who are in need and bring them back. T.B. Joshua, you've really helped us with this uh mission that the Lord sent us on to go to the highways and hedges and compel men to come in. As you already have seen that this ministry helps those people that many people turn their backs to. People less fortunate, people that something bad happened in their life either through addiction or through some misfortunate situation and they end up in the bottom. And Brother Agent, his wife, they actually travel all around the United States witnessing to people about Jesus and finding people who are down and out and bringing them here. And so your gifts, Emmanuel TV Partners and Prophet TB Joshua, they have meant a lot and we believe that the relationship will be established here. And before we leave, we wanted to also bless you with some material for the spiritual growth uh, for Prophet TB Joshua. And want to give you a book by the Prophet TB Joshua called The Mirror and also the, the book called What the Future Holds and as well as some anointing uh, stickers. When I give you the DVDs with the testimonies, everywhere you go, you can leave just with some testimonies and, uh, and bless you, God bless you and your ministry. And we know the best is yet to come. The humanitarian services of TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team in Washington attracts an ABC television news affiliate, KXLY4. They covered the event, which left many pleasantly surprised that a gift donation was coming to the USA all the way from Nigeria. A homeless ranch in Newport is celebrating a donation it received from a church in Nigeria. The money bought clothes for 30 men who live there. KXLI 4's Ian Cole explains why people in Nigeria are donating to people here. At the Lord's Ranch for Homeless Men in Newport, thousands of dollars in donations are being cherished thousands of miles from where they originated. This is real nice stuff and it looks like something quality that is going to last with the guys and uh, is something good that they probably never had in their life. It's Joseph Bonick's third month at the ranch, which is a shelter for 30 men who are recovering addicts or homeless, and today food and clothing was brought in from a Tri-Cities church. 
We'll be warm out in the woods while we're out cutting wood and, uh, and doing our job, and we won't be cold. Our feet won't be freezing. The Tri-Cities Christian Church, who brought a film crew, facilitated the donation from a Nigerian Christian church known for its charity, $2,250 to spend on food and clothes from Nigeria. It's amazing that this church in Logos, Nigeria, said they want to do something to help the poor in America because we're having a financial crisis here. If it all sounds too good to be true, money being from Nigeria, and isn't there some sort of catch? Well, there's not. In fact, the money was used to buy these two brand new snow tires. This is a real uh, tangible solid gift. It's not a, a scam from Nigeria. This is the real deal. Volunteers at the Lord's Ranch say the donations will also help them farm their vegetables and take care of their cattle. When churches band together and eat stuff like this is possible and this is so good. This is a blessing. They admit it's a bit odd to receive money from a friend of a church they've never had contact with, but they'll gladly accept. In Newport, Ian Cole, KXOI4 HG News.